Okay, we did the worldwide communications flyer. Now in the same area, we've got our refreshments flyer. So let's come back up here to the assignment folder. And we're going to come down here to refreshments. And let's look at the instructions. Uh, it wants us to start Word and display a blank document. So I'm going to come down here to my search windows box, type in Word, open up Word 2016 to blank file. I'm going to make it half my screen here. Whoops. I'm going to make this the other half. So here we go. So I want to display my non-printing characters. So I'm up here on the Home tab. I'm going to click on my non-printing character Show Hide button so I can see that. Um, make sure it's in the Print Layout view. So it's probably already there, but just make sure. And we want to insert a horizontal scroll shape. So I'm going to come to here to Insert, Shapes. We're going to find this horizontal scroll under the Stars and Banners category. Here's our horizontal scroll. I'm just going to click it on here. And now that I have my shape, I've got my drawing, my format tab here. So I want my shape in the first line in my document, which is where I put it. And I have a particular size I want this shape. I want it to be two inches high. And then I'm going to come back here. And I want it to be six inches wide. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out so we can see the whole page here. And we want to add the text refreshments. So I'm going to just type in refreshments here. Oops, make sure you spell it right, guys. Refreshments. I'm going to change my text size. I want to center align the text. So I'm going to come up here, I'm going to center it. I'm going to change the font to the Comic Sans. I'm going to come down here. My fonts are in alphabetical order here. So here's Comic Sans. And make it 48 size font. And I want it to be black. I want to change the line color of my horizontal scroll to red. So I'm going to come back here to Format, and up here is my Shape Outline. So I'm going to click on this. I want it to be red. And the line weight to be one and a half. And I want to change the fill color to yellow. That text is supposed to be black. There we go. Move that over a little bit there. Okay, now we want to save the file as refreshments with your first name and last name to your computer. So, I'm just going to put it on my desktop here. We're going to name it refreshments. Okay, so I'm going to move my cursor to just below the banner's left edge here, and I'm going to move it. I want this to stay at the top of my page here. And I want to make two paragraph marks, and I want to place my insertion point under the banner. OK, 
Okay, so I just want to make sure my insertion point is here underneath the banner. I'm going to change my font to the Comic Sans font and the font size to 16. And I want to set some tabs, so I'm going to come up here to my paragraph the dialog box launcher. I'm going to come down here to tabs. And my first tab, I want it to be the one and a half spot. I want it to be left aligned. And I'm going to set. And the next one, I want to be at the two inch mark. And I want it to be left aligned. And I'm going to set. And the last one, I want at the five inch line. I want this one right aligned, and I want the leader line option 2, and then set. So then I can say OK. So now I can press the tab, and I've got hot dogs, and hit tab. And I'm going to enter 2.25, then the enter. And then I'm going to hit, hit, whoops, hit tab for chili dogs, 275, and knock worst. And press enter. And make sure you get the dollar sign, not the pound sign. All right. So we're going to press tab twice. Nope. Tab twice. And I'm going to add kraut. And that's going to be 50 cents. And add chili. Fifty cents. And now I'm going to add the rest of my items. So I'm just going to enter information in off of your assignment here. Watch your spelling. And then I'd go ahead and save it after you get those entered. Now we're going to place our cursor before chips. So right here and press enter. And then we're going to press tab once to get our chips lined back up correctly. And then we're going to do the same thing on, we're going to place our cursor before child size and press enter two times. And then we're going to tab over to restore the alignment. I'm going to click in this empty space above child size right here. Change the font to 22 and type ice cream. We're going to center it and type ice cream. And here, before hot dogs, we're going to put a picture of a hot dog. So I'm going to come up here and insert online pictures and I'm going to put hot dogs. And just find the picture of a hot dog you like. We'll use that one. Say insert. 
and now we've got to format it. So we're going to change the format. We're going to make the text square. And then we need to make, obviously make this picture a little smaller. And we want to make sure we keep everything lined up over here. And we're going to just put it right here in our left column. So we've got our hot dog picture. And now we're going to come down here after the child size 1.25 we are going to insert a picture of an ice cream cone. And just find one you like. I'm just going to use this little first one here. Actually we don't have, we have double scoop, so let me see. Don't want to use a triple scoop. And since I have a fake picture of a hot dog, I want to do the same thing with my ice cream cone. Oops, got two in here. I can just delete that one. And here in our ice cream cone, we're going to change the text to square so we can move it around. And we're going to resize it. and move it down here and I'm going to go ahead I'm going to just click that a little bit make it angled I'm going to angle it the other way because that's the way the drips are going okay and you just want to put it behind here make it line up with the child size you can see how when I click and move it I get a um, little line that helps me line it quickly. Now I'm going to insert a footer, blank footer. So I'm going to come up here to insert footer. Blank three column. In this side I'm going to type my name. And in the center you're going to type refreshments. And then in the last, and just put the date that you created this on. And then you're going to save it. Uh, do a preview to make sure it's all on one page. So make sure everything's on one page. It says one by one. And then you're ready to submit it in the correct Dropbox for grading.